we are seeing that around the valley. So again, 447 here, if you're going to be heading out the door soon, especially in the West Valley, this is impacting the I-10, the Loop 101, the I-17, areas around the Loop 303, getting some of those thunderstorms and heavy rain too. And what you're seeing is a lot of that red. And so essentially we're getting more into that moderate to even heavy rainfall as opposed to those light showers we're used to typically around here. Notice we've got those thunderstorms also popping in the Northeast Valley near Scottsdale in the Loop 101 and then out near Whitman and Wickenburg where we're seeing more of that lightning. A lot of this working its way south and thanks to some outflow winds. So essentially winds that got kicked out of from the out, out of these storms in Yavapai County. That's what helped generate a lot of these storms that are, we're seeing now in the Phoenix area. So initially it's been Yavapai County that's been getting the bulk of the action. But look at all this lightning along the I-17 north of New River. So that is an area to avoid if you can because of the lightning, the heavy rain. It's going to make for some difficult travel. We do have some flood advisories in Yavapai County and southeast of the valley. We've got flood advisories and even a flash flood warning near San Manuel. But a reminder, a flash flood watch remains in place across central, southern and northwestern Arizona through 11 a.m. And that does include the Phoenix metro area. That alert in effect until 11 a.m. We could see as much as a half an inch of rain with these thunderstorms here in the valley, if not a little bit more in some pockets, just based on what I'm seeing here on radar. Higher amounts still possible along the muggy on rim where we do get those thunderstorms. Plus, we could see more action later in the higher terrain, and that's only going to aggravate that threat for flooding. So a lot to watch for today. And again, if you're in the valley and you're heading out here soon, just know that these scattered showers and thunderstorms are likely to continue through the morning commute. In fact, through midday is when we see our best chance for thunderstorms, and then those storm chances start to wind down a bit. But here's the deal. If we get storms that develop again this afternoon in northern Arizona, which you're going to see on this particular model is possible by around 7 p.m. Those storms will again be moving from north to south, so that'll put the valley back in the path of those storms too. So we've got a window this morning within. This is our best chance for more widespread thunderstorms across the area. And then as we go into late this evening and tonight, we'll give it another shot too. a flash flood watch remains in effect until 11 a.m. Our temperature right now it's warm, but I think some of that rain is going to cool us off a little bit. We're at 93 degrees right now, humid too. temperatures may drop into the upper 80s for a little bit, and then we start to climb with hundreds in the forecast by 2 p.m. Our high today is going to be cooler than it was yesterday, but we're still going to make it into the hundreds with a high of 104 in Phoenix, 105 in a few neighborhoods like Levine and Goodyear, 102 today in Apache Junction. As you look around the state, the hottest spots will again be Lake Havasu and Bullhead City. Otherwise, look for a high of 80 in Heber, 81 in Sholo, and 78 in Flagstaff. Very consistent temperatures over the next seven days. Highs between 104 and 106 each day, but also notice that these storm chances they're essentially going to continue every day into next week as scattered thunderstorms will be possible every day as our monsoon weather pattern remains pretty active, Kaylee. All right.